What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4, and today we are continuing the Man the Guns DLC. Today I'm playing as United Kingdom again, so yeah. Uh, I had a few looks on the community, also on Reddit, on Facebook. I did not have a look at the forum, but looks like people uh, are having a problem with navies. Uh, I did not know how it works, but I probably they, they, you know, I mean, come on, this DLC is focused on navy ship designs and many many other more stuff and looks like i need to uh you know like you know do some small research also we have some organized the black shirt in which we are going to have some urge restraint okay what is this whole anti-german speech what the hell is this the success of the british union of fascists depends on its public image can show our movement spirit okay that's pretty cool let's just do that uh demand trade the dutch yeah uh, i think we no longer need to do that since sooner or later we're gonna have something to work on with give this guy some refuge okay so i will need to upgrade the tank as well i need to have a look at these men okay so everybody is fully uh trained well trained very nice and one more thing, if you guys are playing this DLC, don't try to dock your units or defend your uh, units across the sea because it's gonna need a lot of oil. I have I had tried it uh, a few moment, uh, uh, not a few moments ago, uh, a few hours ago. I did play some games without recording, and I finally learned that we need a lot of oil in order to win. Just because you have ships doesn't mean you can do anything by yourself whole anti-german speech yes let's just do that as a most say populist star oh very nice we're gonna have civil war mostly speech against german reich challenging accusation that he is simply adolf hitler lapdog oswald mostly made a rousing speech today in it he asserted the uniqueness and the individuality of british fascism the stress this distinction between his policy of those a German dictator, he went on to conclude the powerful word no, no one but a Brighton shall hold sway over Britain. Very cool. But Germany, Germany is gonna have some really, really bad image. Uh, uh, how to call that? A, a, a some sort of uh, how do I put that into words? Some sort of a you know opinion. Oh my God. Okay. So we're gonna have some construction right here. I'm gonna need to upgrade. I uh, need some gun, also artillery. Uh, let's see my men. How do they do? I need to change their artillery barrage. We need really, we need that. We need to change some stuff. I'm not good at uh, templates or recruits and deploy, so don't mind me. I'm just playing the game uh, the way I feel like it, it needs to be done. Sorry for that. Uh, marching down the street. Okay, we're gonna have some really unique uh, focus uh, on this one. Really, really good okay so i had i also had a look on america and also mexican uh national uh focus and it looks really nice we can also do the dutch as well next time hopefully but it looks so great to be honest uh i do enjoy uh, some information i gather from have a look on it it looks legit it looks so cool and i feel like uh we really underestimate uh what they have done before and it's pretty good though so I will try to research some ships. Uh, I think I think we don't really have to, do we? Or we do we? Ha oh my God! We also have mine and stuff. A really in-depth, you know, kind of uh, doctrines, which I feel like not really needed. But since we are in this new DLC, and this new DLC really focus a lot on those kind of things, and uh, not so much. And I hope uh, we're gonna have some new patch note. As well okay so withdraw no we don't need to do that all we need to do is the uh, march on Downing Street okay a final great march to number 10 Downing Street will surely push the government to a call for a referendum on the future of the nation they cannot stand against the will of the people okay how do I do that more 50% on brushes oh, okay 50% and I think we are not doing so well. We need to ban some jackass. Anti-communist raid? No. Oh my god, it's gonna take forever, right? 
this is gonna take forever but remember we only do like 20 minutes right yeah we also uh i talked with uh, you guys you guys said only 20 minutes so yeah 20 minutes also great uh why not i mean we, we don't want to you know like push it so hard to the maximum we just want to play like 20 minutes per day is enough but uh, yeah like i already mentioned 20 minutes is, is also good we have no longer effects on a change of course very cool and we also have some new research doctrines so i'm gonna go with excavation number two also i'm gonna have a look at a heavy fighter we might need it later so i'm going to align with germany so we're gonna do a different path uh so i also uh, see some common uh they, they they told me that uh if if i ever if i ever become a fascist join with germany south africa india new zealand australia and other colonies will surely leave the factions uh i'm not so sure about that but uh, i hope they they i don't know who knows but hopefully they stay uh, also waiting to be war economy uh we don't have anything here we just need to wait to march on downing streets promise for peace uh give german scientists yeah we need that you know why we need that because it helps us with some uh, research also it helps reduce the stability so when we have problem with stability we're gonna have a civil war and when we have a civil war definitely we will become fascist and civil yeah i don't know what's gonna happen during the civil war but hopefully we are on the right side and hopefully this uh, army will stay with us that would be great right why not Okay, so general rearmament. Uh, so we might need some royal ordnance factory, which is gonna help us with uh, boosting the factories, so that we can get more gun and stuff. Uh, just in case something happen, we might have it in our hands. Okay, so let's focus on. Uh, I think we should go on tanks. Research on Matilda. So we're gonna replace uh, light tank number one with Matilda. Uh, we also have the new fighter which we're gonna really use a lot as well uh hopefully this episode worked out i hope you guys enjoyed this as well so, so yes you guys show a lot of support thank you so much and yeah we'll try my best don't worry uh regardless of use i will definitely do it okay so let's just is, is research another one let's see something is not doing so well so germany is still army innovations uh we are also waiting for Soviet Union focus. Japan already have one. British Raj uh, already have in the together for victory. We still need to focus on Italy. You know, Italy, maybe Italy also Spain, also some parties. Okay, U.S. Congress passed the uh, Neutrality Act. The Hindenburg disaster, Chinese United Form. Okay, Japan go to war again, I guess. Yeah, Marco Polo Bridge incident again. Also, we need to have a look at uh, Linda Glass. Okay, we're gonna need some research. We don't have any exile government. We also occupied territory. I'm not gonna give it back. We had British artistry. We got wartime industry as a conversion cost, which is minus 50%. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of time. Trust me, that's a lot of time. Really, really a lot of time. And I, I do appreciate it. Okay. We also have, yeah, we need that. Oh my god, 50%. I don't know how long can we do that, but uh, we only had like, yeah, we no longer have change. Oh my god, it's pretty bad. How do we become fascist at this point? Improve relation? Maybe. Royal Ordnance Factory? I don't know. Hmm. Stanley Baldwin resigned. Okay, so who's in Naval Chamberlain? This guy. How do we become fascists? First of all, I, I I always ask myself, how do we become a freaking fascist at this moment? Concession to trade unions. One of the following must be called for fascist. Ah, shit. Fascist. Fascist. Okay, we're gonna need some planes. Excavation is done. Uh, let's have a look at uh, fuel research. 
refinery we need that as well I still have a look at the path right here or we can just go with reinforce the empire or we can go with decolonization but I think reinforce the empire would be nice yeah so I think it's gonna take forever so we just need to wait for Germany to go to war aren't they okay so we're still this far uh, now we're gonna ban fascism if we institute press censorship democratic support oh my god no Uh, nope. Okay, we need to upgrade tombstones. Yunnan joined the United Front. Okay, I get it. Since, uh, you know, yeah, they, they do really need, need to because they're going to have to go to war later on. And I'm building this just in case something screwed up in the division. Uh, hopefully something nice happening. I have no choice but to reinforce the Empire. Uh, since we are going fascist 1670 okay reinforce the empire thank you we, 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 we might you know have a look at it so if we service overseas Mediterranean uh, base station we also have encourage colonial elite we also have Commonwealth ties thank you Matilda and gonna go with Wickers so Matilda gonna replace the light tanks number one in which I found it to be really useless uh, heavy fighter, we also got inner war fighter, inner war bombers, which we use on submarines and ships. Uh, we also have 93 factories at the moment. Really nice. Good progress. Uh, trade, we have free trade. We're gonna trade a lot. Yeah, we're gonna need to trade that. We're gonna trade with the United States. Really cool. Trade with German Reich. Also nice. Okay. Uh, we lost a few, but it helped us with research. Let's go with special force. Okay. So we're gonna make sure it works out for us. Okay, so nothing changed. I hate it. So when nothing changed, it means that I screwed up. <laughs> I screw up this one or maybe I just need to wait for Germany to do anything it's like you have to have someone triggers everything now because you you, you can you, you can make it look it easy you have you have to need some friend Ooh, we just need to wait I guess yeah waiting and waiting and waiting we also have some oh my god there's so many land like damn Huge land, man. Like, yeah, it's the empire. The British Empire. What are you talking about? That's why it's so huge. Okay. Uh, let's just get some oil silo and shit. What they just added. I don't know. Let's just uh, do that. We got tourists. Oh my god, a lot of oil. Yeah. We might, yeah. Italy. Nope. Just need to wait. Reinforce the empire. Service overseas. Yes, I do need that. Germany, uh, what is this? Coal liquidization. Improve, thank you. I do need, no, I don't need that right now. But I definitely need to upgrade some of my uh, companies. I need some logistics so that these guys will not starve to death. And Japan is going to war. Uh, let me just send a tache. They will not accept. No. What's happening? No. Why is nobody want to take my attache, huh? What's happening? Why is everyone being racist? Why? I don't know how to turn fascist at this point. Really, really I'm, I'm, I'm really honest at this moment. Like, it's really, really hard, you know. We still have the non-aligned thing. It 
publicly announce claim okay we always announce that so uh, I will just build some division then rather than sitting here doing nothing at all 22 division uh, tanks, brigades, I think you should, no, I will add it later since we don't have enough, so we're gonna use only uh, dependable uh, infantry division so we're gonna add like, say some emus and shit okay, we're gonna need Haro Alexander thank you Alexander uh, promise for peace, improve worker condition no, we don't need that, we also have this one Okay, organize the black shirts. I mean, how? How? How do we? How do we beat them? How? Like how? I'm so confused right now. It's it's really hard. It is really hard. We also have some independence. Oh. Okay. Cool. The French should have something like this as well. So, so this one is, is, is like a, uh, you know, defense. No, we can't spare anything, yes. And how do I need that? Encourage colonial, yeah. That would be nice. Also, some limited conscriptions that would be helpful. Uh, we're gonna need that too, so we don't need to be worried. Okay, we got the weaker independence. Uh, let's have a look at some damage control. I think that would be nice. Just in case our ship getting wrecked by the German Greek Greeks Marine. They call that one. Greeks Marine. I don't know how they call that. How do you how do you why don't you just call it submarine? Why do you have to call it Greeks Marine, huh? Why? The Germans always make things stressful, you know. Okay, there are so many focused I cannot do anything or decide what to do. Uh, superiority, okay. Uh, let's let's research doctrine. Let's be honest. I don't like grand battle. I prefer superior fire doctrines. You know why I need that? Because first of all, we have lower manpower. Second, we only have artillery and guns. How do we do that? Well, nothing else besides going to war. Yeah. And if you expect to join my allegiance, you are wrong, friends. I do know you. I do not know you, okay? We do not belong together, so get the freak out of my way, okay? We also have some ships at Hong Kong. Very cool. And Japan is not doing anything besides going to war. They should have, you know, at least accept my opinions. Or maybe my attache. Maybe if we naval invade France, it would be nice, right? But French. The French, they also have some superior battleships, which I believe is also a common thing, you know, uh, which means that we, we, we're going to have a really tough fight. So, oh my god. Okay, I need to stop. I need to stop. What the hell is this? Okay, this is getting way, way different from I believe what it's going to be. Stop improving. Thank you. If we keep on improving, our political points will not going up. So, it's best that we uh, consider this. The Panay incident. American and British gunboats were attacked by the Japanese aircraft in separate action today while evacuating Western civilians from the front line. Okay. Okay, if you don't like it, I will just leave. Logistic company, thank you. Any signal company as well. Signal company will help us during uh, receiving confirmation from the front line, which means that they're gonna move uh, at the steady points during, you know, uh, you know, like let, let's say going to the front. Uh, total war posts. What are the teams about in February 2019? Okay, total war. Yeah, we're gonna have total war spell on April. It's gonna be a lot like. 40 G's, gigabytes and stuff. We're gonna need a lot of RAM. I think I need some, put on some uh, HD, HDD hard disk, and they call it. Oh, guns. Yeah. Upgrade that one, thank you. Uh, fire control method. So right now, I'm, 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 I'm just, you know, having some good times. 
and it's gonna be a boring episode on this one so we're gonna wait for the other episodes since we need germany to set up the fire and uh, we just need to play along with them and maybe join the axis so i hope you guys enjoy this episode of house of iron for united kingdom uh leave a like if you do and don't forget to subscribe see you guys next time have a nice day